Hi, I'm Scott. Aiden. Leo. Lindsay. Animesh. Alec. Brooke. Sky. Preston. Michael. Rodney. Sherry. Colin. Luke. Nico. Matia. Mia. Island. Clara. It's your boy John Barron. Thanks for tuning in, and you're watching. Great job. Great job. Great job. Hey Novi, did you guys know that the Frog Force actually has a sister team? They're called the Automated Amphibians and they started in 2020. Even though everyone on the team is completely new this year, they've been doing amazing and have currently got to the World Championship in Houston, Texas. A big shout out to Nathan Paul and Aiden Sunkiss for being amazing drivers throughout the season. And also a big shout out to Chris Pell as well, who has been helping the team immensely. What's up, Novi? Your esports team has been doing some really good work recently. Every team is alive and winning, but if things really start to heat up next week at Michigan State for the next round of playoffs. Good luck, Wildcats. Hey, Novi, your girls' soccer team took an unfortunate defeat against Salem on Tuesday and tied against Canton yesterday. They look to bounce back on their game on Tuesday. Good luck, girls. The boys across team lost both games this week to Plymouth and South Line. Look to bounce back next Monday against Harlem. Hey Wildcats, tomorrow your boys take on Milford at 1. Make sure to be there. Your girls softball team has had an outstanding week. In their doubleheader against Milford at home on Monday, they won their first game 10-2 and lost their second game in a close 9-10. They also had a game on Wednesday at Brighton, winning their first game 10-0 and their second game 6-0. Regan Bennett had a no-hitter. Way to go, girls. In addition to a successful week for the team, Regan Bennett has been selected as one of MLive's top Metro Detroit high school softball players to watch. Your girls compete at Lakeland tonight. Wish them luck. What's up, Wildcats? Last Thursday, both our varsity and JV girls tennis team played against Salem. And last Saturday, varsity played away at Pioneer and Pioneer Quad. Both games were held in extremely cold and windy conditions, though our team showed incredible resilience and performed wonderful. Great job, girls. This is a footage of our two singles, Deb Saha, from last Thursday. And we later went to her for an interview. Let's see what she got to say. Hi, I'm Deb Saha, and I'm our two singles. And I'm Alice, and I play one doubles with Mandira. We had our first match yesterday, and considering the weather conditions and the wind, I think we played great. Um, all four of our freshmen won their matches, which is insane. Um, I think our team is going to do really well this season. We're really close and um, our players work really hard and I think that overall we're just going to have a great season this year. Join us at J2A, a nonprofit committed to lower the English language barrier for Midwest Japanese community. We are looking for volunteers to tutor Japanese students in English and no tutoring experience or Japanese language experience is required. You get to learn volunteer hours while helping other students learn English and overcome language barriers. You can build your communication skills while be a part of our dedicated team. Culture Club is meeting again this Tuesday, April 18th at 2.50 in room 182. This time, they'll be learning about the culture of Lebanon. All are welcome and snacks will be provided. Hope to see you there, Novi. You Matter Week is the week of April 17th through the 21st. There are activities every day in order for students to de-stress from school. On Friday, there will be a senior versus staff dodgeball game right after school. We'll be having a week-long scavenger hunt with students in teams of four. The first three teams to finish are winners. We'll be having a spirit week, too. The days are on your screen right now. This week is about your mental health, so counselors will be open for appointments all week. Scan the QR code to schedule an appointment. They'll also be available for walk-ins during lunches. And Novi, remember that you matter. Teacher Appreciation Week is May 8th through 12th. In order to celebrate, the Class of 2026 Student Council is going to be delivering coffee and baked goods to teachers and staff during first hour on May 10th. You can help out by donating cash or gift cards to coffee places. Donations can be dropped off at the main office off of Taft Road by April 28th. If you have any questions, you can email novistuco2026 at gmail.com. All right, I'm here with Charlie, uh, Andrew. All right, Charlie and Andrew, where do you guys see yourself 10 years from now? Uh, so, you know, I probably plan on owning a big farm, lots of chickens and um, cow and stuff, you know? Yeah. I don't know, I'll probably be working in some business somewhere. I don't know. Chloe. McKenna. All right, Chloe and McKenna, where do you guys see yourself in 10 years? 
Uh, hopefully I'm like being some kind of doctor and really tan, still living in Florida, hopefully. Yeah, probably working in a hospital, hopefully graduated out of like med school. <laughs> All right, I'm here with... Miriam. Leah. All right, Miriam and Aaliyah. Where do you guys see yourself in 10 years? I feel as though I would be an actress in 10 years. All right. Um, hopefully I'm taller in 10 years. That's all I got. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? So I'm not a huge fan of kids. And um, for the senior supportives, I won most likely to know every lyric to a song. So I feel like with that, I could probably go into the music realm and maybe start rapping. Okay. I feel like that would be my next bet. This is Tommy Dockick. All right, Tommy Dockick, AKA Mr. Millionaire. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? 10 years, okay, I'm gonna be 27. Um, so I'm gonna have to start paying my own health insurance by 26, so definitely I'm gonna be uh, worried about money a lot, but beginning of my life, definitely gonna work on some, uh, a good portfolio of investments, I would say, because it's definitely the start of my life, so I'm gonna have to keep some long run investments going. Uh, I think I'm gonna have a nice apartment with a good entry level job, maybe after my MBA and um, really getting, getting going, starting my life, maybe possibly a fiance out there, you never know. Um, most likely not though. Ladies, hit them up. <laughs> All right, I'm here with. Gavin Garcia. All right, Gavin, happy birthday. Thank you, sir. Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Uh, 10 years from now, I hope to have uh, maybe graduated from MSU and uh, <laughs> working with a nice job, maybe get a nice little apartment, hope to be living up there by myself. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. All right, I'm here with Dominic. All right, Dominic, where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Uh, 10 years from now, uh, hopefully I'll be in a financial firm, working as a financial advisor. You know, maybe get my CFP, break in some good money. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, whenever you're ready. Oh, you, you can walk through, don't, don't wait. Let's and six and spins. And the C team took fourth and jumps, six and moves, and fifth and spins. Great job, girls. And guys. And guys. Aww. Oh! What's up? No, oh, wait. I don't even know what I'm gonna say. So, uh... Oh. Um... See you next week, Wildcats. There's okay. a crack in the ceiling up there. Huh. See that? Yeah, um, I think I know what I'm gonna say. Welcome back to your esports corner, guys. This week we entered. It just—it's blurry. It won't stop blurring. Maybe back up a little bit. Like condominium. 